Team USA's 2-1 victory over Ghana this week certainly stoked World Cup fever in this country, but the Americans face a new and possibly tougher challenge, as Elaine alluded to, tomorrow when they play Portugal. Here with a preview is Nate Scott, a writer for USA Today Sports. Nate, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. First of all, let's talk about the victory over Ghana, which we failed to get in the previous two World Cups, correct? So yes. w was this a surprise? Uh, it wasn't a surprise that we won. It was a surprise how we won. Uh, to score a goal in the first 30 seconds, no one ever thinks that's going to happen. Uh, Michael Bradley, one of the Americans' best players, played awful. Um, <laughs> and then it took a goal from a 21-year-old substitute who no one ever thought would play to get in the game. And to, for him to score a goal was really uh, it was surprising, but uh, I'm not surprised it happened. I'm surprised how it happened. Even his reaction to that goal, it was like he couldn't believe that yeah, that moment absolutely. had happened as a substitute. Let's talk about injuries because it's really a laundry list when you look really at all of the athletes, including Portugal. What's happening on the U.S. team? Uh, Josie Altidore, our best striker, went down with a, with a torn hamstring, I think. Uh, the U.S. won't say exactly what it is. They don't want to tip their cap to the other team, but um, he's one of our best players. He's a really strong guy. He's built, uh, you know, he's built like a bull. He's built, you know, it not matter what sport he's playing, he's, he'd be a great athlete. So the U.S., uh, they have other options, but they're definitely going to miss Josie. Um, I mean, how big a loss is that? I mean, do you think, and do you think at this point the coach is regretting that he left Landon Donovan, who was, you know, maybe our most famous soccer player off the team? Uh, Jurgen Klinsmann isn't really that type of manager. He, he won't think that Donovan's a little bit of a different player than Josie, so mm -hmm. I'm not surprised that uh, they can't really substitute in one for the other. Yeah. So uh, I think he should regret leaving him. Landon's a phenomenal player, but... Uh, Jurgen's not really that type of manager, and yeah. I think he's just looking forward and he's happy with the team he's got. So America, next up, we're facing Portugal, as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. You can't help but notice that Germany, who is one of the best, it was considered the best team, just yep. destroyed them. So how do you think America will fare against this team? Uh, I think they've got to be confident going in. Portugal had a few injuries. They got a red card to one of their best players, Pepe. So um, the U.S. won't have uh, an easy time. Portugal's a very, very good team. Uh, but I think that with that big loss, they can come in, they'll be confident. I, I think they might be able to get a result, even though they have Cristiano Ronaldo, who might be the best player in the world right now. What is his status, by the way? Because he's, he's had some injury problems. Is he, I mean, is he actually going to play, do we think? He's going to play. The, the Portuguese, are, they're showing pictures of him with ice packs. They want to keep it up in the air. But Cristiano Ronaldo, this is Portugal's most important game. They, re they really have to win, and yeah. uh, even if he's 50%, 75%, he's going to go out there. He's going to play. I mean, even at 75%, the man just looks good. <laughs> he does. He's a, he's a handsome fellow. How can the U.S. defend against him, though? Um, I think what they'll do is man mark him, and what that means is U.S. usually plays a zone, but I think they're going to put one guy on him and say, your job is to make uh, Ronaldo miserable. Stay with him all day, kick him, whatever it takes to, like to, to get him off his game. Day, yes. <laughs> does the U.S. have to beat Portugal? Here? Uh, no, but it would really, really help them if they did. Yeah. Well, it is certainly hot out there, so yes. we hope the best for all of the teams. Nate Scott, thank you so much. Thank you.